Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and this is part two of my conversation with Phil Kim. And we're talking about a couple different things here. Uh, our first pair of cowboy boots, what it's like wearing cowboy boots for the first time when we weren't raised around cowboy boots. So we, we get into a couple different things. Uh, if you want to hear our entire conversation, that's on my podcast. It, it's a full 30 minutes long, pretty much, and you can catch the link to that below. But for now, enjoy part two of my conversation with Phil Kim about cowboy boots. Peace. So are you planning on getting another pair soon? I just got a new pair last weekend. They're not cowboy boots. I, I went to a used boot store, and you know what used boot stores are like. You're, it's real hit or miss. I uh, yeah. tried a few on. A, I want like a, a new color, uh, like a black cherry or a gray, uh, something like that. Preferably also ostrich leather. And I tried all of those on that were there. None of them fit. I did find a pair of fry boots, of suede fry boots. So, and I don't have any suede yet. So I just got those uh, last weekend. But they're more of a motorcycle boot rather than a cowboy boot. Like all kinds of boots. Yeah. Yeah, and I like them still. I really enjoy them. I can't wait to break them into my foot. Plus, they were 50% off. So, I mean, I ended up spending like 100 bucks on these, uh, which isn't bad, especially for the Seattle market, which is sort of expensive anyways. Oh, that's you're from Seattle. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, it's, so uh, I guess our towns are very similar, not very many cowboy boot wearers. No, definitely not. not. There's one uh, country bar... Uh, a, like about a mile from where I live. And last night we were in that area, um, me and my fiance. And you always know when you're by the country bars because there's more cowboy boots nearby. And I saw like three pairs. And I'm always keeping a lookout, right? So uh, because I want to see what other people are wearing when I notice cowboy boots, especially in Seattle because it never happens. So there were, I saw a nice pair of snakeskins, a nice ostrich pair. Um, and my fiance is like, why are you just looking at all these people? I'm like, they're wearing cowboy boots. Like I need to see what they're wearing <laughs> because it's a very rare what occurrence here. What size do you wear? I wear 10 and a halfs mostly. Oh, I'm an 11. Nice. Uh, so are, so is your, does your fiance, uh, is she cool with boots? Oh yeah, definitely. She's got her own pair oh, too. I have a good friend of mine. He's married and, uh, his wife hates his boots. Really? Yeah. Wow. What's the reason? She just has a, a personal disdain. Uh, he never really got into it, but he just says that uh, he would, uh, she just sometimes, if she's in a bad mood, would just go on and on and on about it. How many, she thinks they look ugly, but he just persists because they've been married for like 25 years. So it's like some things you could learn to just like whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep, yeah, we're all cool with cowboy boots here. Everybody I rock with is, so, yeah. I oh, mean, if anybody uh, tries to make fun of me or uh, bring me down for cowboy boots, I'm just like, come on. I mean, just look at how good these look. It's ridiculous. Like, you, you know, know you I, can I, rock it's them. All in your mind. It's all in your mind if you think people are going to say something. Because no, most people, that I've in my year, because I used to wear cowboy boots. But my, I got my first pair back in college. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the first day I would decide to wear them on campus, I'd go, oh, shit, my friends are going to say something, they're going to say something negative, blah, 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 blah. And nobody did. Because nobody cares. It was, you know, <laughs> except I did have one friend in uh, college who kept drawing attention to them. And it, that was embarrassing because you, every time you go somewhere, like in the cafeteria or in the commons area, they say, hey, hey guys, check out Bill's boots. I go, okay, come on, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> Full attention. <laughs> yeah, I remember rocking uh, my boulets on campus uh, during college, my first year, and I was so worried that people were, were going to be like, oh, I can't hang out with this kid because he's got like cowboy boots or make like these judgments. And really nobody noticed at all. And when they did notice, it was like, hey, that's a cool look. You know, that's, that's, that's a nice style. So, I mean, the people who do care... They will say something, but people who don't, most people really don't care. So you just might as well rock what you're comfortable with anyways. And uh, then end up drawing attention to yourself and annoying people by saying, hey, check out these boots. Or you got, or even when you're just like, okay, uh, maybe you should get a pair of boots. And this is why. 
you know? And then, like, that's what I'm becoming known for at my work right now is, like, saying, oh, you need boots. Like, you need, you need to get some cowboy boots for this occasion or that occasion. And I think people are starting to get annoyed at that, but, you know, I'll still, I'll still, I'll be... I'll be a lobbyist for cowboy boots any day. <laughs> Did you get, how, uh, how old were you when you got your first pair then? I was either 17 or 18. So yeah, these pair right here, um, the boulets here, uh, I got these pair uh, after my brother got his pair um, okay. at, when I was like 17 or 18. And these are the ones that I was rocking on campus too. They looked a lot better then, um, but character it's all character you know it's these have traveled so much uh and it, every time i wear them and every time i look at them i just think about all the places that i've been you know all of the experiences that i've had in those boots and it just feels so good like if if i'm in if i have a day where it's like i'm not starting it out right maybe i'm feeling a little down uh, maybe it's a Monday and you got to go do, you got to go to work or you got to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. Those are the go-to boots because, uh, it just reminds me of everything, all the good times that I've had and all the good times to come in them as well. So I, it just, those, those are the kind of experiences that I think we can get in boots and that's why I love them so much. I think I was in the second year of college, uh, university when I got my, First pair of boots, I guess that would be making like 21 or something. And I got uh, like, and then, you know, I, and then I got another pair the year later. And then, and then I think after I graduated uh, university, I stopped, I got into the phase where I just stopped wearing them and they were in my closet for like a couple years. And I thought, oh, I'm never going to wear them again. So I gave them away to the goodwill kind of thing. And yeah. then, so why did you feel like you didn't want to wear them again? I don't know. I, I guess you go through a different phase because then when I got my first real job uh, in the corporate world and then you're wearing dress shoes and dress pants all the time. And and I guess the I guess also the different styles of clothing at that time in the early 2000s, because I, I'm probably older than you. So, well, I mean, that doesn't matter, but uh, no, but just but but just the trends at that time, because I got you, because when I was in high school, Cowboy boots or Doc Martens were the two type of boots that every guy wore except me. Oh, well, actually, I had Doc Martens. That's not true. And every guy was wearing cowboy boots, I remember. They were even getting toe caps and heel caps and even the, and even the, the chain. Oh, wow. Okay. They were going all the way. And then I remember every shoe store chain in, in Canada, in the Toronto area, was selling cowboy boots. They couldn't get enough of them. And then suddenly, they just stopped selling them. Like, they just completely dropped off the face of the earth and then I guess I guess I had that in my mind that it would just be kind of odd because now nobody's selling them no one's wearing them I said okay and then then I gave them away to goodwill and then um I guess uh, then I sort of st sort of started getting back into it but then I was very apprehensive about where uh, getting boots and then uh, oh, I can't do this and but then I I went on a road trip with my best friend to we were driving across America and and also into Canada, like to do the Western U.S. Western Canada tour. Yeah, we, like our our destination was to go to um, uh, South. Uh, where is Mount Rushmore? Okay. And then go into Alberta, and then across Canada, and then uh, in the South Dakota, I bought a pair of, pair of Lucchese boots because this was back in two thousand and eight, and they were on sale and. I had those boots, like those were my first reintroduction back to cowboy boots. Wow. So 2008. Another thanks to Phil Kim. Man, I had a lot of fun talking with him. Great guy. If you want to see more, there was another video if you didn't catch it already. The link to that is in the description our entire conversation and another conversation to be published on Tuesdays on my podcast. Link to that in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today. Oh. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We're talking boots in a brand new way. 
We're talking about new pairs and the styles we wear. Thanks for sharing your time today on Blue Chat. <laughs> Blue Chat. See you next time, everybody.